Hello there, lovely soul. This is Infinity, and I want to welcome you to the Aries April Full Moon 2021 Terran Oracle Reading. Welcome, Cross Watchers. Welcome if this is your moon rising and, of course, your sun sign reading. And I do encourage you to watch those other videos to get the full picture for information for you for this full moon through the new moon. That's how all of these work with me. So if I do new moon, it's to full moon, full moon, it's to new moon. I'll also be doing a uh, monthly read um, here for all of the signs in the next few days. So please look out for that. And if I'm new to you, hello, I'm Infinity. I am a shaman, mystic, medical medium, psychic, physical empath. I channel, I do mediumship. I work with obviously tarot and oracle. I'm a distance quantum energy healer, working worldwide with people and their animals. And I am also an Ascension coach and spirit liaison. And I offer a lot of different services on my website, thehealingbutterfly.org. And I encourage you to take a look at my website. I have ebooks and um, I have my podcast, uh, Evolve Now Lightworkers with Infinity. I have a ton of meditations. Uh, oh, yes, I'm an astral meditation channel channeling astral meditation guide. I have a lot of meditations that are really, really awesome that I've channeled and facilitated. You can find them on this channel, on my old YouTube channel, on my website, on my podcast. Um, and again, they're pretty awesome. So, uh, so anyway, please check out all of that on my website. And I have a special right now for mediumship for, um, the next, uh, like three weeks, uh, going through the 15th of May. Uh, and that is inspired by Mother's Day and directly guided by Mother Gaia herself saying that a lot of loved ones are, are coming through for people, but not everybody is super clear and can get that guidance for them or that guidance and that connection for themselves. So that's where I come in and I'd love to help you with that. And I have an awesome special happening right now for that. So without further ado, let's get into your reading, Aries. Your, uh, your hard work is paying off. Indeed, indeed. And hooray, hooray, I'm hearing. I'm hearing, I'm seeing uh, everybody getting up like a standing ovation, giving you claps, uh, giving you applause, 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 applause for your hard work. Um, I'm really feeling this as more spiritually based, more health based than, you know, you working hard, but it also could be that, that you've been working really hard, that you have goals, that you're setting them, you have projects, that sort of thing too. Um, but it, it, I think it's still motivated spiritually, honestly. So whether it's creative projects or, um, or anything else, it feels like it is motivated by this um, this pull with your spirituality and with developing your spirituality. I'm feeling, um, I'm seeing that you've been meditating, you've been working on your third eye, you've been working on connecting with your guides and your guardians. Um, you've been doing serious um <sighs> meditations and maybe even energy work maybe even with another person a healer somebody like myself um so it's so this is your validation that your hard work is paying off it's not going to happen overnight some people tend to think that oh i go to see a healer and i should be 100 percent better the next day or you know i did this meditation why isn't everything changing or i did a vision board why isn't my stuff happening tomorrow well the physical, the energetic, the spiritual all take time to come into alignment, but it also takes your intention, your energy, your hard work, ascension, a spiritual awakening, energy healing, physical healing, trauma healing, uh, uh, connecting to Akashic records, doing anything, anything spiritual, any of that stuff is work, is work. And it's like, you know, running a marathon, it requires energy and, and all of that stuff and, and, um, intention too. Oh, look at this. We get the moon. 
Haniel with the moon, important psychic insights, events behind the scenes, release fears that hold you back. Oh, this is beautiful, Aries. Um, so I we've I think I've gotten the moon in, I would say all but I've done, I think this is my sixth reading for the full moon for the full moon, and I think I got the moon in almost every single one but one of these readings, which always is an indication that this full moon, and this is a super full moon, so the moon is closer to us than typic than it typically is. Um so that energy is going to illuminate us, is going to have a bigger pull on us, and we're definitely having that here with the moon card with Heniel a lot of healing energy I'm hearing again so I feel like healing is excuse me oh my goodness excuse me I'm feeling like healing is definitely um something that you've been working on healing um connecting spiritual connections um all of that stuff psychic insights working on connecting more with your psychic awareness and psychic insight and all that good stuff um that is coming through pretty strong okay i'm being guided directly to the archangel oracle as well so let's get into that lovely aries and thanks again for, whoa thanks again for joining me here okay got a few cards here what did we get we got angel therapy with raphael Give your cares and worries to us angels and allow us to take your burdens. Next, spread your wings with Ariel. Do not hold back right now. The timing is perfect and you are ready to soar. Spread your wings with um, Ariel. And then we have leadership with Archangel Gabriel. It is time for you to assume your leadership power and position and lovingly guide others. Okay. So angel therapy, again, this is give your cares and worries to the angels. Go to the angels for guidance. Work with the angels for healing, for connection. That sort of message is coming through. Spread your wings means no holding back. Work with your guides that are that want to take the burden off of you. And then with that releasement of energy, you have more that you can focus on yourself and spread your wings. Don't hold back is what she starts with. Don't hold back right now. Um, let yourself soar. Let yourself um, create and meditate and and move forward with without fear to and go into the future with that kind of energy and then leadership again it's time for you to assume your leadership power um i'm just the way i'm seeing this is lead by example show your family show your friends that somebody can go from this to that that somebody can really move into a new way of being that is irrefutable that somebody could go well this is how they were and this is how they are like if you're somebody who's who's chronically ill and you've been doing yoga and you've been meditating you've been feeling better and now you're you're here and um and you're watching my video and i'm a healer and you've been thinking about doing some healing well I got to say, most likely the chances are that, you know, you are to take that step, step for yourself, be the leader for yourself, at least explore healing with something that I do or another shaman or another healer. But it's like the next, the next phase, the next need to move forward in your journey in a real way and the activation, the truth, the, the, um, the light codes are coming through for you right now dear beautiful aries to help you with this to be guided Raphael is the archangel that i work with in my healings and so he's here um and so i just really feel this this big this energy with um 
with healing this healing clearing energy that needs to happen and you are to um really take charge of this and and if you don't work with me directly all i could say for advice for finding a healer is find somebody who's gonna um who you know you play a part in your healing and that that you um that you're 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 doing the work as well because that's how i i work in my healings um you're not just an observer you're a participant you're doing the work in the healings you're you're doing you're meeting with gaia you're meeting with archangel Raphael. you're you're part of it wholeheartedly and um and and that's really important that's really important to empower you for the future okay let's get going here with our tarot we got the sun in reverse uh the knight of wands straight up and this is the shadow scapes what did i just do <laughs> the strength card this is the shadowscapes uh tarot the strength card so the sun in reverse the knight of wands the strength card then the five of pentacles and temperance and then i did it again seven of wands okay so the way that this is coming through here oh, okay the sun not in reverse i changed my mind i just hearing turn it over sun not in reverse the so sun right side up sun right side up um that's different okay <laughs> um because not always the way they come out, the way they stay. And I really didn't pause to, to ask. But they're like, that's right side up. As soon as I picked it up again. So, a lot of, with this. So, this is, a, this is such a beautiful, happy, um, healing card. Just the sun itself gives, you know, that's what our Stargate is about. That's what our... Um, our guidance through the stargate is about and if you aren't familiar with stargates please watch my video on stargates um to explain that to you but what's coming in here is that there is so much it's kind of hard to see because there's so much going on with these cards but there's a ton of birds he's riding a bird and there's a ton of birds around him and um and that is an angel on the bird and there's all these birds around him so aside from the sun this is just greater wisdom this in this birds are just always represent regardless of the bird just a higher perspective a higher connection you know being closer to the sun to that energy and those activations knight of wands strength uh five of pentacles temperance and the seven of wands yeah so <sighs> there's definitely a change in your chemistry happening right now so you could have gone you could have either done healing already done some deep healing already or just you know just done healing are doing healing haven't even set up like this like this is just so big with the healing and what i'm seeing here with this knight of wands and the strength card is um this divine masculine this divine feminine and th they're like coming to together like this kind of thing and if you switch them then they'll be um then they'll be let me see put them like this that's what i'm trying to do then they'll be facing each other you see that 
but right now they're on opposite sides. So there's this transitional period of energy, of balancing your energy. And I feel you've been working on this. Um, you've been working on healing different aspects, but maybe this divine masculine, this divine feminine business is newer, is just happening, is integrating with you now, or is going to this. We got the moon. We have the sun um, cards coming through here. Your hard work is paying off. Raphael is here. Gabriel is here. This is all about healing and um, integrating with these energies, with these light codes coming in to help balance out the divine feminine. The divine masculine is definitely, um, I would say, really important for you to, to look at when it comes to healing energies and balancing out the the chakras and your body and all of that sort of business. So really think about that. Um, and it will take time. Again, it will take time. We have the temperance card here. So patience is needed for yourself, for the situation. Um, don't let what seems to move slowly, like sometimes a week can feel like an eternity if we're stuck in a certain way of feeling or, or whatever in our physicality, especially through transitional periods. The, the physical um ramifications of energy healing is not something to take lightly it's something to understand that it, it does take time and that um uh the body the physical dimension across the board moves slower than energy so we take time for the physical to react to the energy so a lot of things are instant especially how i work with my energy healing it's instant but we take time it, we know going in especially with my deepest healing program the evolve now program it comes with a month of working with me because of the need to support you through the shift, through the transition um, of energy clearing and healing and alignment and grounding and infusion and activations and all the stuff that takes place. Um, the body, the mind, the emotional body, the logic and, and the ego and the, the trauma, the energy, you know, resorting itself out within the system takes time. And to be patient, temperance is coming through. Don't let this energy take over. Look at this. These two, I believe these are fox. These, I think that, well, they're, they're like, I see them as, as foxes, but they're something else. They're like a, I think a fictional type of animal, but they, um, which in this deck, it's really cool. She's like made up these animals, which I think is really awesome. Um, but, uh, but I kind of see them as like kind of these foxes, but this could be your inner self, your inner kind of energy getting it back into alignment. But, but when I say don't let this kind of take over because it's not settled, it's not like these foxes are sitting next to each other sleeping. They're like in conflict, um, right? So with that, we just want to um, kind of understand that we can be in conflict with our own selves through our healing and really be miserable. I've had clients that are like that and I've had clients that really just fall and surrender into what's going on and don't doesn't see a day like a week and doesn't see a week like a month and doesn't see a month like a year understands and has patience and and really that's part of the of the process is the is the understanding of with patience and needing to have patience okay <laughs> hi kitty Let's see. Where, let's go to the tools. I'm being taken to the tools here. Whoops. Whoopsie. I'm being taken to the tools. This is our archetype oracle. Just the tools, not the places, not the selves, and not the initiations, which are the other sections of this oracle. It's just the tools. It's what I was being guided to for these readings for the full moon through the new moon. The prayer. <laughs> I love it. The prayer. Oh, that's so great. Okay. 
let's get into this with the prayer Aries Page 195. Okay. The worship, the reverence, the homage. What is prayer? When we are in a state of prayer, when are we in a state of prayer and when are we not? To whom or what do we pray? Archetypally, the practice of prayer has been with us since the dawn of time as a remedy for the omnipresent self-centered thinking that spins us towards illusion. Prayer leads us beyond our ego as we move from our little story to the big one. Some say we are in a state of prayer anytime we are not the center of our own thoughts. Others, <coughs> excuse me, others say prayer is a natural result of gratitude. Perhaps it is simply surrender or service. Whatever prayer is for you, this card reminds us of its importance. Get quiet, low, humble, and soft. Bow and touch the ground as your heart lifts to the sky. Th though it may be uncomfortable, it is time to do, it is time. Nothing else will do. So I'm feeling Archangel, not only Archangel Raphael, but Archangel Gabriel, Archangel Michael pointing to the prayer card and then directly pointing back to Raphael, pointing back to healing. Because I don't think there's anybody and there's been anybody on this planet who's gone through true spiritual transformation true physical and um, mental and energetic healing it's all energy but it has gone through that without our connection to the divine without praying to our divine counterparts to mother father god to our guides and guardians to spirit to gaia it's all the same thing they're all part of the same team that of the universe of creation that all works with us it's just fractaled out into different ways but that that surrender and the practice of of surrender of being in service for yourself to surrender for yourself to connect to the divine to connect to um, to the archangels, to those like Michael and Raphael and Gabriel and Merlin and Gaia and Metatron and all the rest, Haniel and Azriel and Ariel and Jophiel and and I can just sit here. I don't start. I don't usually name names because I feel like I have to go on and on and on and on and on. But me most most um personally most closely and who I work with in my own with my own work even though I work with a broad range of divine beings and entities from the dragons who are also of angelic origin to the archangels to galactics to the fae um to Gaia herself and um of course it all trickles down from mother father god but here on this plane Gaia because this is her domain her planet where her babies we are of her she is our great mother she is who I work with at the very top um because the way that it I don't usually get into this stuff but here I go but the way that it works with mother father god is they're holding our create they're holding creation the universe the multiverse in their in their energy field the two of them constantly moving in this dance and we're and everything is connected to it and planets and places like gaia are connected to that source but also act like an independent um family so it's like she's our mother we're her children and her parents allow her to do her thing with their full support they support her she supports us so when i work with somebody or with you generally speaking or with one on one i and me myself and i and what i do even though i connect to mother father god and i connect to the archangels and i connect to the fae and the dragons and everybody 
in this existence, it's Gaia, Mother Earth Gaia, who is the, I call her the, the show runner of how things work here because this is her home. This is her body. This is her domain. And even though there's so much else going on there, that her energy is holding it all together here. So anyway, um, all of the healing that takes place upon this planet comes through the elements of and through Gaia um, because we are of the elements and of Gaia and that's just the way it works. So without spending too much more time in that with all of that, um, the prayer tool here is saying please contact and connect with your with your personal guardian angel and I have a meditation for that. It's amazing. It's so cool. And and I can say it's amazing. I can gush about my meditations because I channel them. I don't design them. I'm not the architect of my meditations. I just show up like I said, Gaia is the showrunner. I connect with her and boom, we go. And with that, uh, that one meditation for it's called body love and connecting with your guardian angel. I highly suggest you do that. That is coming through big time here. Even if you've done it in the past, do it again. You can always strengthen your relationship with your guardian angel. And because we can't see them, we can't, you know, touch them and hug them and feel them, you know, hug us. And 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 they're not a person in our atmosphere. It's easy to forget that they're there and they and until you really connect that that and establish that open door communication where they're constantly coming through and you can pick on them and hear them and they're guiding you and you can ask questions and you get answers really really quick it takes practice to do that and especially moving through a healing time like you're like you are right now and or you or you will be right now again the sun the moon Raphael Gabriel now the prayer card coming out I mean really <laughs> it's pretty it's pretty clear here um what we're doing but i'm gonna get a couple more cards for you with the the uh, crystal oracle it's the healing crystal oracle there's one crystal blessing grandmother crystal diva uh cathedral light brary is the um the crystal oh look at this I'm talking about Gaia and how I connect with her. And here's Grandmother Crystal Diva. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Okay. I want to kind of get into that. One more I'm hearing. Ancestor Healing Tree and Amber. So, like we said, healing needs to happen. I'm hearing one more card, okay? This one. Healer. So, we need healing. We need a healer. Um, we need to do that. Of course, you are your number one healer, okay? Don't let anybody tell you different. Even if you come to me, even if you go to another healer, another shaman is going to take you through and guide you through healing. If you weren't there participating in your healing, you're not going to heal. So, um, you need to, to recognize that you're your number one healer, but then to work with healing. So, this is coming through, again, ancestor healing, healing, crystal blessing with um, grandmother crystal diva. So, we, we have a really clear message here with healing, but I want to get into this card. It's the number eight card with um, grandmother crystal okay grandmother crystal diva cathedral light light brary you have drawn this card to your attention today as it is time for you to be honored for who you all are and all that you do on this planet it's a time of divine crystal blessings you have been working very hard in life and the fruits of your labor have not gone unseen it's time to stop and receive all the goodness you have created in your life your prayers have been answered and your dreams are coming to into reality 
Have you been working hard on a project? Are you praying for a miracle? Have you been feeling a little lost and uncertain? Are you waiting for a lucky break? Whatever is happening for you in your life, know that you have entered into a time of divine blessing and everything you touch will turn to gold. This is a time of miracles and they are happening all around you. So make sure to stop and smell the roses. Set the intention to receive these current blessings and know that you are worthy and deserving. Simply by having the intention to receive, you will open the door for all your blessings to come to you. Oh my God, I love this so much. Grandmother Crystal Diva is a... Uh, ancient being of unconditional love and divine wisdom. Her essence is made up of all the energy of, crystal, of the crystal kingdom and she holds this medicine deeply in her soul. Grandmother is the overseer of the whole crystal kingdom and all the crystals are her children. She supports and is a personal guide to the ones on earth who have chosen to work and heal with the powerful vibrations of crystals. Simply call upon her presence for healing and guidance. What whenever you connect to a crystal know that you're also connecting directly to grandmother's soul and in doing so you can access and channel the powerful healing medicine of the crystal kingdom oh my god so so awesome yeah i mean i when i connect with i mean i feel like she is an extension of gaia like i see them as one in the same like like everybody on this any any deity, any any god, any um, any ascended master, any anything like that that's connected and within the realm of Gaia, just goes back to her. She she is the crystals, and um, and I've also worked with this um, this divine being. Um, and I'm not going to get into the name. It's a different name that she that she and I work with, but. But she is an extension of Gaia and the crystals are divine magic um, and they are like these little computers that get downloaded with information and we can connect with crystal um, energy whether we have them with us or they're not yet with us or they're still in the ground still inside Gaia we can still connect with that energy Oh boy, so please connect with your crystals. Please clear them, connect with them, read about them, feel their energy, feel Gaia, feel Grandmother Crystal there and feel and let that come and just be in your world. So we have Crystal Blessing, Grandmother Diva with Crystal Healing. We have Ancestor Healing, so connecting with Ancestor, connecting with your soul and soul connections, and then we have the Healer card. So all of these three cards are about healing. So like I said, from the top, this is about healing. So I really hope these energies, these messages, this guidance resonates with you. That if you are in the middle of healing, if you've been working on your healing, and like she said in this message, you know, you've been working really hard. Your, your, um, your work hasn't gone unseen. Blessings are coming to you. You have the sun here. And it's just a matter of time for it to come in and and allow yourself to have the richness of crystals around you treat yourself to crystals in celebration for where you are now so go online or go to the store and say i'm going to spend 50 bucks or 100 bucks or 20 bucks or whatever it is you can afford on on getting a new crystal um, the one that she has here is Cathedral Library. We also have the Numite and Amber. But whatever you're guided to, any crystal from Gaia is going to be healing, is going to be perfect. It's going to be meant for you. So please, I encourage you to do that. Oh, yeah, I'm being reminded. I offer um, a service for crystal gathering with Gaia where I connect with Gaia. I go to my local crystal shop. She guides me to the perfect crystal crystals for you. I charge a really small fee for it. I don't up um um mark up the prices on the crystals and I just send them to you charged and um and cleared and 
and they are a direct like I channel Gaia and she tells me literally what crystals get for you and where I go it's practically wholesale so you get a lot of crystals so anyway check that out if you're interested aside from that I think we're done here beautiful Aries uh, thank you so much for being here this is a beautiful reading if I can be of service again please check out my website thehealingbutterfly.org for healing um, more deeper in depth uh readings specifically for you personal readings via email recorded or live and of course i work with people and animals all over the world for healing and ascension coaching and until next time beautiful aries have a wonderful full moon and beyond infinite love and blessings bye for now